I wanted to share with you another thought for, about this week's Torah reading from the beautiful Chumash that we've been using for the past several years now, Eitz Chaim. This week's portion is known as uh, Tetzaveh and continues to describe the building of the Mishkan, how it was to be constructed, and focuses a lot on the priests, the Kohanim, and their vestments. But there's still a little bit more at the beginning about other objects that were supposed to be uh, built and used in the Mishkan. And it begins with the commandment to build, uh, to fashion an eternal light, a menorah, a light, a candelabra that would be, remain burning constantly, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. What we use today in every synagogue as a ner tamid, the eternal light that is found above the ark in all synagogues around the world. Well, we have that ner tamid, obviously, to remind us of God's presence and also to maintain the, the, the chain of tradition. Uh, of history from the Mishkan down to today. This eternal light representing God's presence is still with us. But listen to how the Eitz Chaim Chumash puts it, puts it. Why has light been such a favorite symbol of God? This commentary asks. Perhaps because light itself cannot be seen. We become aware of its presence when it enables us to see other things. Similarly, we cannot see God, but we become aware of God's presence when we see the beauty of the world, when we experience love and the goodness of our fellow human beings. Similarly, fire has been used to symbolize God's presence. Like light, fire is not an object. It is the process of liberating the energy hidden in a log of wood or a lump of coal, even as God becomes real in our lives in the process of liberating the potential energy in each of us to be good, generous, and self-controlled. If light is the symbol of God, then fire, the product of human technology, represents human efforts to bring the reality of God into our world. And so that's a beautiful sentiment about representing the idea of what we can do personally, what efforts we have put into trying to make God a part of our life. Shabbat Shalom.